Hey there, and welcome to The Locker Room. Coach Giggs here, and today's message, settling for average. Settling for average. Are you doing that? Stop. Don't do that. Columnist Maureen Dowd says, quote, the minute you settle for less than you deserve, you get even less than you settle for. I like that. Folks, dreams require a person to stretch, to go beyond average. You can't reach for a dream and remain safely mediocre at bay at the same time. The two are incompatible. So when we are too uninspired to dream, when we settle for average, we may be tempted to blame it on others, on our circumstances, on the system, on someone else. But the truth is that mediocrity is always a personal choice. It is. Dr. Bruce Lockerbie, chairman of, and CEO of Padilla Inc., said this about mediocrity. He said, mediocrity isn't at the root of our national problem, nor a corporate institutional problem, nor a departmental problem. Mediocrity is a personal problem, end quote. Boy, that is so true. Author Ken Hildebrand expresses the negative effects of such an existence. He said, quote, the poorest of all men is not the one without a nickel to his name. He is the fellow without a dream. He is like a great ship made for the mighty ocean, but trying to navigate in a mill pond, end quote. That was good. Quote, he has no far port to reach, no lifting horizon, no precious cargo to carry. His hours are absorbed in the routine and the petty tyrannies. Small wonders if he gets dissatisfied, quarrelsome, and fed up. One of the greatest tragedies is a person with a 10 by 12 capacity and a 2 by 4 soul. Folks, you and I need to realize that when we get out from thinking average and start thinking above average and start seeing things in a much greater light, only then can we begin to experience life's beauty, life's amazing, amazing things that are waiting for you and I to experience. That's the message today, gang. Don't be that person with a 10 by 12 capacity and a two by four soul. Let's grow in to the potential that is within us and into the individual that God created us to be. Thanks for joining the Locker Room Gang and we'll see you tomorrow. Take care, bye-bye. If you've enjoyed and feel the Daily Locker Room has served as an inspiration in your life, why not share it with a friend by sending them the daily message? 